Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, how are we feeling on this rainy Saturday? Can I get a round of applause for everyone in our newsfeed cafe? Hello, hello, hello. I am, I am your energy host, Amanda Shea. So I'm gonna be checking your temperature throughout the afternoon. You may be looking around and saying, oh my gosh, I just came in for coffee. And you might have done. So, you know, you're here, you're sipping the coffee, you're doing the things. However, you're also here for Outspoken Saturdays. Give it up for yourselves. And now you are officially a part of the show. How you like that? Look at, look at everybody's face. Wait, what? Yes, we will pan to you. I know they're showing me, but at some point they will pan to you. So in the poetry world, you know, we have claps. Can we get a round of applause? Claps. Let's practice that out. Some snaps. Yes, we love the snaps. We have the mm-hmm. Yes. I know that's right. Oh, I'm sorry, that's sweetie, that's sweetie. But y'all can say it too, y'all can say it too. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say hello and welcome everyone to Outspoken Saturdays here at Boston Public Library in the Newsfeed Cafe. Fall is upon us, it's one of my favorite holidays. You know, they have the pumpkin spice, pumpkin, 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 everything. I am one of those people that waits all year for this, oh, yes, I am. My name is Amanda Shea, like I said before, but it's Shea like the butter, so y'all know how to spell it. I will be your host for this afternoon. For those who are not familiar with spoken word poetry, it's a form of performance art in which speakers express themselves verbally on a particular subject. And today, we are centering our conversation in poetry today in honor around Hispari uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Give it up, give it up, give it up. I too identify as Afro-Latina, so I will be reading today maybe don't quote me on that. With that being said, um, we are looking for speakers for our next month's Outspoken Saturday. So you see this beautiful woman over here named Sandra Lopez Burke. Please give it up, give it up, give it up. Sandra is holding the form, so if you are a poet, please come and fill out this form. But Sandra will not be sitting in that chair for that much longer because we are going to welcome Sandra Lopez Burke to the stage. Can we get a big round of applause for Sandra? Sandra is going to be our first curated poet of this afternoon. So we need all that energy. Once again, please give it up for Sandra. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, everyone. So I am not a poet, and I do know it. Um, but I am here today because uh, as a recent uh, par partner at GBH, um, we recently lost one of our own. Um, and in honor and in tribute to Brian O'Donovan, who, if any of you knew, Brian was the curator of the Celtic Sojourn show that took place, it launched at GBH in 1986. It was on the radio for a very long time and was also performed here at the Boston Public Library on this stage. And I only got to know Brian for the last year that I started at GBH, but he made such a profound impact on me was an incredibly generous, caring, and thoughtful human being. And I just thought, and he loved poetry. And one of his favorite po poets was Seamus Haney. And so I'm going to read a poem by Seamus Haney called The Gravel Walks. River gravel, in the beginning that. High summer and the angler's motorbike deep in the roadside flowers, like a fallen knight whose ghost we'd lately questioned. Any luck? As the engines of the world prepared, green nuts dangled and clustered closer to the whirlpool. The trees dipped down. The flints and sandstone bits worked themselves smooth and smaller in a sparkle of shallow, hurrying barley sugar 
water where the minnows schooled that we scared when we played. An eternity that ended once a tractor dropped its link box in the gravel bed. And cement mixers began to come to life. And men in dungarees like captive shades mixed concrete, loaded, wheeled, turned, wheeled, as if the pharaoh's brickyards burned inside their heads. Hoard and praise the verity of gravel, gems for the undiluted milt of earth. It's plain, champing song against the shovel, sound tests and sandblasts words like honest worth. Beautiful in or out of the river, the kingdom of gravel was inside you, too. Deep down, far back, clear water running over the pebbles of caramel, hailstone, and mackerel blue. But the actual washed stuff kept you slow and steady, and you went, stooping with your barrel full, into an absolution of the body the shriven life tired bones and marrow feel. So walk on air against your better judgment, establishing yourself somewhere in between those solid batches mixed with gray cement and a tune called the gravel walks that conjures green. In memory to you, Brian, we love you and you'll forever be remembered. <laughs>